Hi teachers, it's Matthew from Griffin Education Enterprises and in this video series, 1% Better, Teaching Tips That Add Up, I'm going to show you how teachers can boost their productivity with Trello. We are currently up to four videos in 1% Better now. I've got links to the other videos in the description below, so make sure you go check them out. Okay, let's get straight into it. Trello and the Kanban system of cards and categories. The Kanban system of cards and categories was developed by Toyota to oversee their manufacturing process of automobile parts. It runs very similar to a to-do list, but it's far more visual. And at a moment's notice, you can instantly see where you are in your workflow process. The human brain is an ideas factory. And for me, Trello is the perfect app that allows me to record my ideas for future implementation. Currently, I've made Kanban boards in Trello for the following workflow processes. Keeping track of the numeracy committee that I run at my school, creating YouTube videos, monitoring all of my writing tasks. Trello is excellent not only because it's free, but because it also works across multiple platforms and devices. I currently have Trello installed on my iPhone, iPad, and I've got Trello bookmarked within Chrome. Personally, I found Trello works best on a desktop or a laptop, then followed by the iPad. I've found that I need a larger screen to get the most out of this productivity app. However, having it on the phone means I can quickly enter in an idea or move a card across another category once I am done. If you would like to know more about the Kanban system of cards and categories, then click on the links that I've included within this video. Okay teachers, I'm currently in my Trello account. Let's look at one of the Trello boards that I've created. So I'm going to click on the Ashfield Numeracy Committee. Trello typically works like a to-do list. You have your list, your doing, and your completed tasks. However, what I've done is I've put two other categories that I think are important. I've added my ideas and questions and possible agenda items. I find Trello is a reliable way of getting my ideas down very quickly. For example, one of the considerations uh, for the next meeting is uh, we're looking at the Orgo tracking tool and we wanted to sort of determine whether do we completely assess the Orgo tracking tool on their tests or do we do 50% or is a mixture of tests and teacher judgment. So let's say if that's something that I want to add to the agenda item, I just simply move that over and include that there. But I'd probably put that down at the bottom because that's quite a meaty task. When you look at the idea of when do we reintroduce Paul Swan's maths games uh, because of the whole COVID-19 crisis, that's a very quick conversation that we can have. Another great thing about Trello is that you can add these descriptions. So for example, when I open up this card here, I've got a thing there called the category description. I like to have the category description at the top of each category. That just tells me what that category is for. So if someone else ever looks at this board, they know exactly how this board works. Now I've also categorized them into other areas. So if you look at here, all of my light blue labels are the documents that I need to create for term two. If you look at the purple categories, they are the emails that I need to send out. And all of these green categories are tasks. Now I can go in here and I can change the labels to whatever I want. I can add members that, and that's something that I'm going to be doing in the future. You can add a due date when you need the tasks to be completed. And the other great thing is you can also add checklists as well. You can also add covers to the card if you want to sort of decorate it a bit more. Or let's say I'm in the middle of creating my agenda but I don't finish it, well then, pretty easy, I'd move it to the doing list. And then once I've done it, I'd move it over to my completed list. Another great thing is you can also add stickers to it. So let's say I've managed to finish my agenda, I can always put a tick chart. Well done, Mr. Leslie, gold star for you. Excellent. Another interesting thing with the boards that you do create, you can change the background. Um, Trello has access to Unsplash, which is a website that allows you to use stock photography for free, which is fantastic. So let's say if I wasn't happy with this, I might type in maths or mathematics. So you can always change the board to something else if you don't like the look of it. Please leave a comment if you found this video to be useful. I love hearing from other teachers. If you're interested in more of my content, like my practical teaching blog, then I've just written a post titled Three Personal Development Books That Represent Incredible Value. As a teacher, I got a lot out of them, and better yet, they come to under $7 on Amazon. I highly recommend that you read these books and my blog post about them. I've included links to these in the video description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Griffin Education Enterprises. I'm Matthew. Thanks for watching. Ciao.